All right, so what we're gonna do right now is take a look at working with filters and blending modes, which are pretty easy, pretty cool. What I wanna do is duplicate my layer to start, layer, duplicate layer, we hit okay. Now what we can do too is we can just apply filters to certain things. So let's say I wanted to apply a filter pretty much to most of this image. Well, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show you a little trick here. I'm gonna come on up to select and I'm gonna say color range. I'm gonna click the back and that pretty much got it all, right? I'm going to maybe lower this a little bit, but it pretty much got it all, I think. So I'm going to hit, okay, there is my selection. I didn't get all of it. Let's go back to that. I'm going to unselect. I'm going to try one more time. Select color range. I have that right there. I'm going to lower this. So I think that it's got, I just really want those colors. I'm going to hit okay. All right, now I pretty much got the blue background. Now I'm going to inverse my selection, inverse. So now just this branch is selected. Okay, now it might work for you, it might not. What I do is I lowered the range and I pretty much got all this blue in one fast swoop. Come on in, now I'm going to go to my filters. So we can see that we have all of these different options and stuff. The best place we want to do is let's just go to the filter gallery. Dun, 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 filter gallery. Here it goes. The filter gallery should be opening. We can see our image to the left. We can zoom it on in. We have poster edges. We have film green. We have color cutout. We have a palette knife. We have, let's go to the palette knife. I'm gonna lower this up a little bit. Okay, what we can see is that we've actually, we are creating, actually I wanna up this a little bit. An image now that looks more like a painting a little bit. We'll hit okay. And there we have it. I'm gonna deselect it. Now, what I could do too is I could come in and I could play around with my blending mode. So there's a lot in the blending modes. We come in and we could say darken. Okay, we could come on in, we could say lighten. So there's all these different ones, soft light. Uh, there's all these different options in here and you can play around with them, see what they do. I kind of like the, uh, which one did I just do? Linear light. Oh, that's kind of a cool looking one. We could go to vivid light, right? There's a lot of different options soft light. All right, then we could even come into image. Uh, well, we'll leave it. We'll leave it like that. Let's take a look at one more. Come on over to this image. Again, I'm going to come in image, image rotation, 90 degrees clockwise. The image is rotating, rotating, rotating. I could come on open. I could open up my filter gallery. I come to filter, filter gallery. Again, I can play around. And actually this is what was applied. It just applied the last one that was there, but we want to come to filter gallery. And now here they all are. Let's try a different one. Let's go for a watercolor this time. I'm going to zoom it on in so I can see what I have. I can hit okay. There we have it. And I could even come on in and say fade filter gallery. So that was under edit. You could come in, there's so, just so many options. I could say fade this a little bit and now come in and darken. Come in and color dodge. Okay, so there's a lot of different options and there I have it. I have a project working with filters and blending modes. Thanks for listening.